Good morning from Finland. It's minus two, but the weather says it feels like minus six. <laughs> it definitely does feel like minus six. But uh, it's, it's very challenging times, I'm not going to lie. Um, they, they basically didn't sleep last night at all. Just tossing and turning the whole night. Um, when it's that cold in the tent, it's really difficult to sleep. Inside, inside the sleeping bags, not too warm. But it's your face, it's trying to cover your face. If you cover your face, it gets too hot and you can't breathe or you need to be in the cold. So it's one of those ones. Um, I've basically been caught out in Finland. I've uh, not got enough, not got the right equipment. Did not think I was still being Scandinavia when the winter was coming. But hey ho, we're here and I'm just trying to make the most of it. The tent's actually all frosted over. The bike's all frosted over. And I think the road's actually all icy. Uh, it's about seven in the morning. I'm getting up as early as I can to get some big days in. Just trying to get out of Helsinki. I'm just trying to get to Helsinki now as fast as I can. But it's 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 beautiful. It's really nice when it is this cold. There's something just about Scandinavia that it's just beautiful when it's so cold. And I was in the tent this morning thinking, how am I going to get up for today and get the motivation? Because I'm absolutely freezing. But then you get out the tent and you see how nice it is when the frost is laying. It it's it's nice. It is nice, and you can try and appreciate it a wee bit more. But Yesterday, this, this happened for the first time, I was like, oh my god, it's beautiful. And the first hour of the day, I was cycling, and I was really loving it. And I was like, Scandinavia is so beautiful at this time of the year. And it is. But I've just not got the right equipment. And I was like, you know what? At first, I thought, I'm going to try and get to Helsinki as fast as I can. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to stop and enjoy it. But now, it's like, the, the cold's getting to... The cold's playing in my moods a little bit. When you're so cold all the time, it does get you down. And it's quite it's tough when you're not sleeping and you're trying to do big days. It's it's very hard. It's physically challenging. So I think that I have fell in love with the winter of Scandinavia, and I've definitely come back one day with the right equipment and the right clothes and the right camping gear. But for now, I think I just need to get to Helsinki as fast as possible because it's there's not much hanging about for when I feel this cold and it's playing in my moods. But it is beautiful. Um, I'm looking forward to today. Um, because it is nice, but um, try to get to Helsinki as fast as I can. I was, I've, I've been keeping an eye on the weather around the world as well. So it's minus two here, and Helsinki was 10, Stockholm was 12, Copenhagen was 11, Paris was 18, Madrid was 27, Edinburgh was 15. 15! Can you believe it? I was like, what's going on? I'm minus two! <laughs> So I think this I think this area of the world must be just one of the coldest bits because I passed a place yesterday called Poka and it's famous because it is the place in Finland that's had, had the lowest ever recorded temperature, minus 51. It feels like minus 51 to now. <laughs> I honestly do not know what minus 51 would feel like if this is minus 2. It'd be cool to experience it, but like coming back and having the right equipment and all the right camping gear I'd, I would, I'd love to do that and I'm going to do it one day because this place is just so nice when it's cold but it's, if you've not got the right clothes and the right equipment it's it's tough. Like I'm literally wearing everything that I own right now. Every piece of clothing I've got is on. So I'm basically cycling in the same clothes all day, sleeping in the same clothes, cycling, sleeping, cycling, sleeping in the same clothes. It's not very hygienic. I've not had a shower in a while but it's part and part of what I'm doing. And you just got to get on with it and just got to try and enjoy it. Which I am, to be honest, I'm enjoying it. Um, but it's just, it's tough, it's challenging. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go for a big day today. And try and get to Helsinki as fast as possible. I was going to go like this nice scenic route down the coast and stuff, but nah, no way. Um, I think that was about 1,200, 1,300 kilometres. But I've seen last night that I'm only a 1,000 kilometres away from Helsinki if I was to go straight down the middle. Which I could do in about a week, maybe optimistic um that's quite optimistic but if i could do some big days which i've been doing 120 100k 150k should be fine so i from me in poka the coldest place in finland we're going to go for a big day <laughs> i am freezing but i'm loving it it's good good seeing the positive actually my bike is actually just noticed my bike's completely frosted over i do not know what the roads are going to be like today if they're going to be frosty or i'm going to be icy We'll wait and see. Maybe I'll end up having to get a bus or a train if I can't cycle. Fingers crossed. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Right, from me and Poka. I'll see you next time I see you, unless I die in the cold. <laughs>